For the past two years, we've reported on hospitals being overwhelmed because of COVID patients postponing their care and New Mexicans needing access to services but having to wait even longer to get the care that they need. So the pandemic has brought conversations about health care to the forefront. In the pandemic, it became even more clear to New Mexicans that we are, as a community, we are only as healthy as sort of the least healthy person within your group. In a new poll conducted earlier this year, 72% of those surveyed support some sort of public health care option that New Mexicans can buy into. But across all parties, there was support for this. Look at this, 83% of Democrats, 72% of independents, and 57% of Republicans. Majorities of Republicans, independents, and Democrats across the political divide support um, opening up the exchanges to everyone opening up Medicaid to everyone, and they expect and want the state to take action to make healthcare more affordable for everyone. Those surveyed also showed six out of 10 New Mexicans say they've had to sacrifice medical services or medicine in the past two years because of cost. Here's an example health healthcare advocates say they hear often. They delay receiving care, it gets worse and worse, and then they end up eventually resorting to an emergency room. Um, once it's become like an emergency health situation, it's much more expensive. Uh, hospitals lose money providing health care that way. Patients, uh, patients harm their health and their finances by um, having to do that. So in 2021, the state did pass the health care affordability fund, which made premiums more affordable and made it easier for small businesses to provide insurance and even provided coverage for more people who might have not had access. But advocates say the results of this poll show a majority of New Mexicans want more action from the state now.